guys, we are back at the flea market today. It looks like there are a lot of vendors here, so let's hope we can find something good. I'm gonna put the timestamp right here if you're only interested in the haul, but without further ado, let's go ahead and look. So guys, I went to the flea market this time around and I went with my mom, my sister, and my nephews, which was actually so fun to kind of do. And I came here with no intention. I didn't have anything in particular that I was looking for. I was just looking for something that really spoke to me. I mean, it's a flea market though. There is something there for everyone. And when I stopped at this booth, I found quite a few items that I really loved. However, I only bought two, one of which was this golden vase. I really liked this brass vase. And I was actually pleasantly surprised to see the price of it too, because normally brass at the flea markets are really up there. Just these two, please. Oh, we got $10 or whatever. Uh, it's no, 15, 15, 15 and five. 15. Oh, perfect, thank you. <laughs> thank you. And this was such a cute basket, but I had to tell myself no baskets, no baskets, unless you know exactly what you're going to do with it. I saw a lot of cute things here at the flea market though, a lot of older style stuff. And I think that's what I was actually gravitating towards this time around because I actually picked up quite a few antique slash vintage pieces. So I was super excited about that. So I spent a good portion of the time perusing. I saw this homemade necklace, which I thought was cute. I also saw this picture, which I didn't end up getting, but I just thought it was gorgeous. And like I said, I didn't actually go to the flea market with something intentional to buy. I was just there to look around and shop. So I think sometimes it's much easier to find things and really fall in love with things when you don't have something in particular in mind. And of course, no matter what table it is, I'm almost always picking up the vase and looking at the vases before I move on. Oh, and this next vendor had some beautiful old style glasses. They were beautiful and gorgeous. And unfortunately, I didn't pick any up. However, I really wish I did because honestly, they were awesome. And I also saw this cute magazine rack. I almost picked it up even though I already have one that I need to kind of DIY. And this time around at the flea market, I was actually pleasantly surprised to see the amount of artwork there. Normally I don't find artwork at the flea market, but this time around I found quite a bit, which was actually kind of amazing. Oh, and I really thought these tiny lamps were so cute. They were actually pretty expensive though. I think it was like 20 for the pair. I find cheaper ones at the thrift store though. I came across a few things that caught my eye that I didn't end up getting. Obviously baskets. This one in particular I thought was really cute. However, I didn't get it because I don't need it. At least that's what I told myself. I also found brass candlesticks that I didn't end up getting too, even though they were cute, just not my style, and that cute pot as well. And I was also curious about the price of this because I thought it was really cute. My mom and my sister actually found some great things though at the flea market while we were there. I apologize for the camera work because this is me running over to see what she's getting. She's actually getting these beautiful iridescent glasses for kind of having mimosas. She said she was gonna invite me over for mimosas, so I'm very much looking forward to that. I liked this cracked aged looking vase. I didn't end up picking it up though. I don't even recall the price on it to be honest. Could have been a missed opportunity though. Oh, and I also found these. I thought these were interesting. They were kind of like wall mounted decorative pieces. So I thought that was really interesting. Oh, and this vendor in particular had vintage kitchenware and kitchen items. This is actually something that I always gravitate towards for one of my family members. So I picked something up for them that is not included in the haul in case he watches. Also, I saw some burlap sacks, which reminds me of Flea Market Flip because I feel like they're always using burlap sacks in that show. Also, I gotta give props where props is due. My mom was actually telling me a lot of the items that we were looking at and what they were used for. And that was just really cool to like learn about the history of stuff. So I feel like I kind of dived into that this time around in the hall, just because of the fact that I wanted to be a little bit more knowledgeable when I was talking about the stuff that I got. 
but there were so many cute items at the flea market. I didn't do it justice in my footage, unfortunately. I was just having such a good time. And so although I was genuinely surprised with how little I actually walked away with, I was so happy with the haul that I got. All right, guys, I found some amazing finds. So let's jump to the haul now. So first up is this. I don't know why, but I was really drawn to this. I love vases. I do love jugs. Now this one was $20, which I think was actually a decent price. I looked it up. I used the Google Lens to look it up. And based off of what I just saw, I would say or I would gather that it's a good possibility that this is like an antique whiskey bottle, if you will. So I thought that was really cool. And I don't know how old it is though. The one that looked the most similar to it was dated back to the 1800s though. So I'm not sure if this is actually from the 1800s, but I thought it was just really cool nonetheless. I really wanted it. So I thought $20 was a decent price for this. So I was really happy to pick this one up and when he said $20, I wasn't even gonna try to barter. I thought that was pretty good. Next up is another jug and I saw this one and this one was $15. I thought it was a little steep. I didn't, however, like kind of barter. I just paid the price. However, so if I waited though and kind of walked around a little bit before I actually paid for this one, I would have seen one that was like much larger. Had I saw that one first, I probably would have picked that one up instead because of the fact that like, this one is cute, but $15 for a small one. I don't know, I just thought it was like, mm, mm. I don't know, I I don't know. That one was $30, like, was it $30 or was it $20? I'm thinking it was $30. I'm second guessing myself. I was a little bummed after I learned the fact that it was probably a better buy than this one because this one does have a little bit of a crack. The other one was in pretty much mint condition. However, I still really like this one. It's almost like a cream gray color. I did the Google Lens on this one too, and it could possibly be a whiskey jug as well. I'm not sure. They kind of just said like a vintage jug, so it didn't really give me much information on what it was used for. It could have been used for whiskey or some type of alcohol. It could have been used for water, who knows? Um, I'm sure someone knows. The point is, I don't know, unfortunately. But still really cool nonetheless. And yes, $15, but I'm really still happy I bought it. Next up is a vase. <laughs> I love vases. I do love jugs. You probably could have guessed that. This one I actually was walking towards, and then I was like, oh, never mind, I want to turn around. And then the seller actually said, if you want it, I'll let it go for $5. So I kind of turned down. I mean, it was a good deal, right? This vase was obviously used as a planter because I could still see the dirt in it. But I really like the size of it. Like, I don't have a ton of large vases. I buy a lot of vases, but I don't have a ton of large vases. So this would be really cool to actually, like, plant something in. I mean, I just think it's really cute. So I did check to make sure on the bottom, though, that it's not an old piece. And then I see Mom. 92. So, based off of my stellar detective skills, I'm gonna go ahead and guess that this was made in the 90s. So, I don't feel like this is actually something that's highly valuable or whatever like that, so I will probably paint this a different color. Now, I am hesitant now to paint things a different color because the very last video that I put up, I was talking about what I called the soccer ball vase, to which I was told by someone that it could possibly be Mackenzie Childs, if I'm not mistaken the name, and so I looked it up and it really does look like that kind of style so I'm very hesitant on like trying to change things now because like I don't want to be the person to devalue something because of the fact that I just don't know stuff so thank you to the person who actually like reached out to me and said that look it up because at this point I'm not gonna do anything to it that face is staying the way it is all right next up is actually one of my favorite pieces that I picked up it is this and I saw this one and this one was only five dollars like five dollars I couldn't pick it up fast enough to pay the person with so many brass pieces there are so many things that I pick up that I'm like okay this was you know maybe seven dollars or something like that and it's just much higher than what I anticipate but I saw this five dollars I was like 
Yes. I did do my research on this one, so I couldn't find the exact style of this, but it's considered vintage. That was really cool to find out, especially considering I only paid $5 for it. All in all, this was a very good buy, and I love the etched detailing on this. It almost looks like arrows pointing in a certain direction. It's a visual play on this vase too, so I really like that. I think this was probably one of my favorite pieces and one of the best scores. One of the best scores. Next up is this jug bottle, whatever you want to call it. Now this one, I did my research as I was there. Now this one is a vintage Roystifer mineral quell pottery bottle. It's saying that it dates back to the 1800s. So again, I just found a piece that is really old, unbelievable. Like, and this was just in passing by and she let it go for $5. And again, the vendor knew that this was an antique and worth more, yet she let it go for $5. So I am beyond grateful that she gave me a piece of history for $5. And it was considered a wine jug. So I thought that was really cool. I, I just, like upon realizing that this is a wine jug, like it literally looks like I was searching for drinking bottles. But that's okay. It's more about the history. I'm really happy about this one though. So I'm gonna hold it like this, but this mirror was only $10. And I love this detailing by the way. I have learned though that the frame is not actually metal or anything, it's a plastic. It's for sure plastic. And then I looked it up and found out that it's considered vintage based off what I looked at. It's from the 1970s probably. And this one in particular says that it's Dart Industries. So that was really cool to find out, but I was really happy about this one. I love this detailing. I love the oval shape. I feel like oval shapes are coming back. So that is really cool and I really love it. Absolutely this will find a place in my home, no doubt. No doubt. And last but not least is what I consider the best buy of the day. My sister actually noticed this china cabinet first and we just assumed it was going to be expensive, right? And we were looking at it and I just asked out of curiosity like how much it was because I was thinking for sure, I was like, this is in such good condition. I was thinking like, it's probably like $150. Like he goes, 50 bucks. My mom was like, Rachel, if you don't get it, I will. So needless to say, I got it. But also, it's just beautiful. I love the little door design on it. I think that's a gorgeous detail. Now again, it doesn't have the glass, but I didn't mind that. But also, the key is so adorable and the key and lock mechanism actually works on this. So I think that's actually just a really nice detail to it too. So even though it doesn't have the china cabinet base, the little edging, it's all gorgeous and it's in great condition. I mean, if anyone does have any information on this, please let me know. This is the one piece that I could not find any information on. It's just a great piece. All right guys, that is it for the Thrift With Me Flea Market Edition and haul today. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed Enjoyed this video and if you did and you want to see more videos like this definitely make sure you give it a thumbs up also if you're not subscribed if I pass that five check for you definitely make sure you're subscribed and you hit that little notification bell so you're in the know when I post again but I also want to say to you guys, if you're looking for more thrifting content and you just can't get enough of it, definitely make sure you follow me on Instagram if you want to see more content, you know, when I'm not posting on Fridays. But I also want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Like at this point, I am like, I feel like at this point, I'm just like always at the thrift store. Like Matt's like, where are you going? I'm like, to the thrift store.